Hey guys, this is Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in CheapGunsUSA.com in Westfield, Indiana. You are watching Marksman TV. I have another gun vlog video for you today. Uh, I have been neglecting this, I guess, since the past week or two. I have been able to film some interactions here and there over different days, so I'm actually just going to, for this vlog, put those together to make one single vlog, so the timeline is going to be a little bit weird. Anyway, that's coming up right now. Stay tuned for that. see if your magazine's down there already. Okay. Since a standard compact magazine doesn't fit it and the others are too long. Nope. Nope. Don't lock in. Too short? Okay. Yeah. It's the same as all the rest. They use a proprietary magazine. This is at Berlin, right? Uh-huh. May I see? Show, show the camera. These were, these were really uncommon, weren't they? They were only made for two years. They made them in the 90s, mid-90s. I think 95 through 97, if I remember correctly. Oh. I just have trouble getting this thing to focus. Here we go. Yeah. And it's in excellent condition. This is one we transferred in for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. If you lock the slide back, you can show how the, the compensator is actually machined as part of the barrel. Yeah, that's really cool. If it'll focus. Probably need to move it back a little. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool. And it really does make a huge difference in the way it shoots. And that one I brought in for show and tell. It's a Colt New Agent that I picked up last weekend. Colt New Agent. Yeah, I kind of like that because there's no sights on it. It just has a groove down the, the top of the slide which actually makes sight acquisition real fast on it. And I wish this thing would focus better. I don't know why it won't. I got another package here for transfer. We'll go ahead and dig into. I knew that the customer told me this was coming in. That is the new VP9 SK. We'll get that to focus. New VP9 SK, so very nice. Uh, this is not mine, this is a customer, so I will try and get one in and do a review. Hopefully I can get one in soon, but initial thoughts, pinky kind of falls off the bottom there, but it does come with a uh, extended magazine, so that's pretty, pretty cool. So anyway, we'll get that booked in and call the customer and let them know it's here. All right, tell me what you got. That is a 1950 Savage, model 99. Hey, how are you doing? Back. Uh -huh. That locks the lever and the trigger. I don't know how much you know about the 99. I know nothing about them. Okay. This was the only lever gun made with an internalized box magazine. Among other things, it had a round count to show you the remaining rounds in the magazine. It held five rounds. This one's 300 Savage, which, okay. I want to film this, though. Well, then. I love show and tell. <laughs> this is the round for that. For this one? Yes. And if you look at it, it's almost a 308. Yeah. The thing that happened with this and the reason that these rounds came about was because in the early to mid-1900s, firearms manufacturers were... Uh, kind of jealous. They did not want another manufacturer's name on their firearms. Oh, so instead cool. of making a 303 or a 308 Winchester chambering it for that, they developed a 300 Savage. What year is this? That's a 1950. Yeah. That's cool. The thing that you'll normally see on them and you'll see some on this one is where right here mm -hmm. because that was a balance point. Everybody ah, carried, it right there. carried it right there. We made them in octagon barrels too. I've had a couple of them in octagon barrels. They made them in several, what I'm going to call modern calibers too, 243 and 308 and everything. But these originals and that, that tears me up. That was from before I got it. Mm. If somebody grabbed it, 
grabbed it. Probably or, had blood on their hands, shooting uh, some. They just grabbed it and held it, and then they you know, you know, didn't clean it, didn't oil it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you. Hey, we'll see you, Gary. But it does have a couple modern things that that's an indicator that it's cocked. Oh, okay. And then, like I said, it's got the round count. That'll show you up to five and how many you've got left, regardless. It's got a barrel type magazine inside it. They've been made since, well, 1899 was the original. And they were made, actually, the Model 99 was made all the way up until 2003. Been a lot of them made. This is, the 300 Savage is the most desirable of all the older calibers. Depending upon whose database you look at, is either a 1904 or 1906. This is in a 303 Savage. Wow. I like how the lever is one machined piece here. Uh -huh. But oh, I see. It goes around and connects straight to the bolt. Yep. That's a tight lockup too. Now this one does not have the indicator. Gotcha. That was a later edition. It does still have the round count meter though. And around was essentially a 30-30. Okay. Oh yeah. What, what's the Calvin? 303, 303 Savage. Savage. Gotcha. And you had a... Man, there's a little round counter there. That's pretty cool. That, I didn't know if you'd ever shot one of those. Like it is 44. 44 Magnum? Uh -huh. Yeah, actually my father-in-law owns one. And 44 Magnum. I would like to find the 41 Mag girl for that. Just so I have both. There is a Desert Eagle. Is this IMI? Yep, IMI. Mm -hmm. 44 Mag. Those are sweet. And a big boar. It's, it is a beast. And this is an AMT Automag 3. Ah, very cool. That was unfired until about a year ago. That's they were light. Only, That's super light. They were only made for one year. Well, it doesn't have any rounds or anything in it. Well, I mean, still. I mean, no. it's the guns I handle all day don't uh -huh. either, but they, this just feels light. A lot lighter than, I mean, what the size would make you think it is. That point's nice too. It's not even broke in good. It still has issues of being new. Those are 147 grain and they actually clock at 1400 feet a second. What sparked my interest in these, I had one in 30 carbine and I made the mistake of selling it. I wish I wouldn't have. And then this one came available for an extremely good price. So and it was unfired when I bought it. They only made them for one year. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on this one, guys. If you enjoyed that, please consider hitting that like button or subscribing to our channel. Any questions, leave those down in the comments section. This is Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports. You are watching Marksman TV. We will see you next time.